Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Razul Diggins, he's a 6'1 point guard out of Philadelphia, ranked the number 51 player in the country and ranked the number 7 point guard in the country via the 247 composite. On June 19th, he'll be cutting his list down to 8, but he's been offered by Miami, St. Joe's, Villanova, Virginia Tech, DePaul, Kansas, UConn, Seton Hall, Rutgers, Florida, Xavier, Penn State, and the list goes on and on. His comp is going to be Tyler Eulis, former Kentucky point guard. Um, Diggins is a little taller. I think Eulis is about 5'9". Diggins is more 6'6", six 6'1". Six uh, but their games are pretty similar. Can easily create for themselves and others. Uh, they have an ability to impact the game on both ends. On defense, they can pressure and stifle the opposing team's ball handler, and they can control pace and tempo offensively, never allowing the defense to dictate what's really going on. In my opinion, these are always the best point guards to play with and coach, because you can always have a sense the game is in control whenever they're on the court. All right, first, let's talk about his driving and handle. I'll give him a solid A in this department. He has a really tight handle, very, very tight. This is the control I was talking about. He's hard to pressure. Usually when you don't pressure guards, you have a tough time forcing the offense into mistakes. When he gets to that second level of the defense, he is dangerous. Because of his ability to change speeds, he maneuvers around the defense with different footwork and layup packages. Really crafty around the rim. He's not going to finish over you. He'll finish around you, under you, and he'll use his body well to absorb contact before going up for the finish does a really great job at beating his primary defender, but the help defense gets in trouble here due to his passing ability, so they have to stay honest and really can't assume. His passing ability is what makes his driving and handle that much more lethal. For passing, I'll give him an A-. minus. Watching his film, his head is always up, fully aware of his surroundings and who's available up the court. It's an A minus and not an A because I've really seen him work off of pick and roll. So that's yet to be seen. So he, he could be an A. Has a great ability to dish without drawing charges, not allowing his momentum to carry into set defenders. Pinpoints alley-oops and makes everything simple. Diggins is an unselfish point guard who knows where exactly the ball needs to go. His willingness to pass and his ability to break down the defense, he's a nightmare for opposing teams. You've seen his ability to break the defense down, which leads to the one spot he could show a bit of improvement, his shooting, which I'll give him a B minus for. He has a lower release and his right elbow comes out a bit more than it should, but these are an easy fix with repetitions. His mid range game is solid and it is a bit streaky from three, but he does shoot it well enough to where teams have to respect it. He doesn't want to come in the game shooting nine or 10 threes and all that stuff. He wants to get out in transition he wants to put the defense on their heels, but when he gets to college, other teams will find ways to slow him and his offense down, either by gap defense or clogging the paint. When this happens, he has to have a steady jump shot to counter. Dan Dockage. Can't guard me. 